All right, guys, first bait going down, big skipjack head. I'm out here on Fort Loudon Reservoir of the Tennessee River this morning. And once again, I am running a little behind. So I'm going to do this intro and explain what I'm gonna be doing today while I'm getting baited up, just to save time and get these baits in the water. But this first one going down here, skipjack head. My other three rods, I'll be using a four rod setup today. I'm going to have some skipjack body sections, and I'm also going to have a white bass body section, just to kind of mix it up. But what I'm doing is I'm anchored down here on a river bend. I'm right now, it looks like 51 feet of water here. And the hope is today is to intercept some fish as they make their way up and down this main channel ledge. There's that bait there. Over here to my left, there are some geese that's going to annoy the heck out of us today. But also, there's a creek that goes back in here. And it kind of gives these fish like a shallow water feeding area to go into as they make their way up and down the sledge. So, we'll hopefully intercept some of these fish today. And we'll also get serenaded by some geese at the very least. <laughs> I'm going to get the rest of these baits on here. Like I said, this setup here, I'll be suspend fishing. I'm gonna have my lines down directly under the kayak. So at 51 feet, my baits are gonna be 48, 49 feet deep. And we'll put in a few hours this morning. I think it's about 6.30ish right now. I'm probably gonna fish till 10.30, 11 o'clock this morning. So here's this bait. Let me get those scales off there though. Well, cost me a fish quicker than damn it. That said, that's the little section of white bass we'll use. Kind of just mixing it up. That's a smaller bait there. Of course, that headpiece is a bigger bait. So give them a couple options. Give them different size options. And just see if we can entice some of these fish today. This section of the river, anything's possible. Could be blues, could be flatheads, could be stripers. You just never know. So let's get this last bait on here. This we'll be using right here. Skipjack body section. We'll get it dropped down. We'll be fishing. Rod right there got hit and down it goes. Oh yeah. Well, there he goes, man. Woo! Look at him pull some drag now. He's gonna fight. He ain't happy about getting hooked, y'all. Goodness. This fish ain't starting his morning off right, is he? He's done got a hook in his jaw. And he's done got up there and got my front line too, look at that. It's gonna be okay though. I've said it before, I never mind getting a little tangle when you got a good fish. This one right here, it's got a little weight to him. I've sat here a pretty good while this morning. Let me just see what time it is here. 7.38, so I've been on the water almost an hour with nothing going on before this fish come along here and ate the skipjack body section. I don't want to jinx myself, but I think that fish come out of that front line up there. I think I got lucky. No, he's still in it. He's either still in or I've got another fish on there, but I'd say he's probably still got it. We can't have it all, folks. <laughs> That's a good fish, though. This one's going to set the tone for the morning right here. He's going to be worth the wait. It's a Friday morning when I'm filming this. I'm just hoping to get out here, catch a few fish, and get off the water before the pleasure boaters get out here. Y'all know how I feel about them. I generally prefer to let them have it on the weekends. But I do still want to 
catch a fish when my schedule allows. Goodness, man, this fish is strong. We ought to be getting close to him now. I'm seeing some bubbles come up. Which is what you want to see when you're fishing this deep. You want them to decompress. I always take my time with them, you know, bringing them up. I don't, I don't ever horse them or get in a rush. Mm. Yeah, we gotta be getting close. This is a good fish, man. He's still taking drag this far into the fight. When that happens with the blue cat, you've got a good one. Oh yes, I saw his tail, y'all. I saw his tail. We're gonna pull him up here in a second. Look at that. That's a good fish, man. That's a real good fish. Look at the head on that thing, man. He is thick. Yeah. Oh, 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 buddy. <laughs> man that's a good fish this is a thick fish right here it was a good time let's hold him up yeah look at that <laughs> oh that's awesome man that's awesome place like the oh 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 oh, oh. Brought him in a little too green. He's still full of fight. Whew. Get him back up here. Oh, man. It's in a place like this, main channel ledge. All these places like this. Your ledges, your humps, your points, your creek mouths. I don't know when fish are going to be active. I don't know when they're going to move through. But if you put enough time into them, you'll get the right place, right time syndrome. And that's what's happened here today that beast right there let me throw him on the board we'll get a quick link and we're gonna get him out of here to go get even bigger guys look at the girth on that fish he's about 43 and a half inches he's a fat one he's done broke my he's done broke my trough off the board here flopping oh. Woo. one final look at him there he's done broke the trough off my measure board and he flopped. I'm telling you fish this big, this heavy, they can do some damage. But they worth it. Let's let him go. See you buddy. I gotta let him go like that. He's too heavy. Fish that big and heavy you can't lean over too far in a kayak you'll go in the water with them. Man has a good time, but hey, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get these lines entangled and get them back down there because you never know when the next one's coming. Well, that last bruiser ate a body section, so we'll drop another right back down. Well, I like to give them options, head pieces, body sections. If I've got multiple different types of baits, I like to put them all out. You just never know what it's gonna take to entice that big fish when he comes along. I like that. I like to try to give them whatever it is they want. You know, the white bass just got hit right there. There he goes. Let's pick up on it. The old white bass. Let's see what this one brings up for us here. This one ain't going to, I can tell you already, this one ain't going to be quite as big <laughs> as that other one. The first fish this morning has set the bar high for any others that come along. I'm back to using this custom rod here that I won in the Yak Tribe tournament a few years ago. I forgot how much I love this rod. Yeah, there he is, a little dink. But it's more action. We'll take it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Let's let this one go right quick because this one's going down. Oh, 
man. Oh man. Yo, look, look at this one. That's on the head. Oh yeah. I hope that camera's going. It is. <laughs> oh, that was a fun surprise. I was landing that dink and this one just took off on me. You know, I always love seeing a rod with a big headpiece go down because, man, you just don't know what's going to eat that big bait. Them small fish will eat them, but the big fish will love them. I'm getting some active fish here now coming through apparently. It was slow when I got out here this morning, but there, that's two in a row here. Not too short or not too long after that big one coming through. This is a good fish too. Yeah, man. <laughs> I struggled yesterday, y'all. You ain't gonna see that video because I got one little dink. But I just keep swinging, man. I don't get discouraged for having a, a slow day or a bad day. I just, I just wasn't out there at the right time or fishing the right structure, or right depth, right bait, you know. Just because I didn't get it right one day don't mean I won't get it right the next. Just got to put the time in. Put enough time in and you'll eventually be rewarded. And today is one of those days that has rewarded me. Yeah, that's another, that's another good fish right here. There he is. He ain't as big as that other one, but he's still a good fish. I'm happy to get him. Woo! Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Come on up in here. Yeah, man. All right, y'all, that in there ate a headpiece. While I was landing that little dink. We're gonna get our head back too. I'm excited about that. And here he is. Also another pretty good fish as I got the sun behind me here. We won't get no decent pictures, but <laughs> like I said when I was reeling this fish in, man, it was slow when I got out here this morning. Wasn't nothing going on and Back of my mind, I was thinking, oh, here we go again. That's another day like yesterday. But they just got active, turned on, and come through this area, and my baits are right there waiting. Let's throw this in on the board, and we're going to get these baits back down there. Well, that one there, he'll go 36 inches. Good fish. Whoa, 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 buddy. All right, one last look, at least what you could see of him there in the shadow from the sun being behind me. Let's let him go. Get out of here, buddy. He'll take off. There he goes. All right. I'll lower that head back down. I think... I gotta check this other bait. I think I might have got that white bass body section back, too. If I did, we'll drop it back down. If not, I'll rebate and put another one on. But uh, Yeah, man. Bite's picking up here. This rod here got bumped. Let's watch it just go down here in a second. There he goes. That's on the body section of Skipjack. Well, he's a digging too now. This old wind is kind of blowing the kayak upstream now. I don't have very much current out here this morning. There's just a light breeze blowing upstream, but it is enough to get me turned around here, facing up river currently. But it don't matter for the fishing. They don't care which direction you're pointing. Good news is we hook another whopper in this direction. I'll actually get some decent pictures because the sun will be behind the camera. <laughs> so there's a perk to it. This one here I don't believe is going to be picture worthy though. No. One of them old dinks. Well, fish number four. Not very big, but that's all right. He went under the kayak that way. Not very big, but that's all right, man. You know, when I get them out and I get a fish like I got earlier, my day is made regardless. I just, 
I'd rather come out and get one big fish than 10 or 20 small fish. So I'm happy any day I get a big one. And we got a big one today. There goes us another hunk of skipjack down. Oh, this rod got bumped again. Let's see what happens here. It's got some weight on there. He's swimming with it. Let's let him have it. I can't wait any longer. Let's pick up on him. I'm excited about it. There he goes. There he goes with it, man. I seen him on there. I wanted that rod to just shoot off down into the water, but I knew he was hooked, so my anticipation got the best of me. My excitement got the best of me. <laughs> It just never gets old, man. I just love it. Somebody the other day asked me how I could keep going fishing so much and still like it. And I didn't even bother responding because I was like, you know, if I got to explain it to him, he ain't going to understand anyway. But there's just something about it that I just enjoy. I'm definitely enjoying it more than this fish is it's got a hook in his mouth right now so i don't think he's having a very good day <laughs> well we got us another little fun sizer there and he was fun that's why i call them the fun size because they just in that size range with the gear i use you can have a good time with fish this size but i do like the big ones a little bit more <laughs> i think everybody would agree with that <laughs> All right, guys, it's about 10.30, time for me to wrap up the day here. You know, this morning's bite was kind of kind of slow overall, but I had a window of time there, about 30, 45 minutes, where some active fish moved through, and I got two really nice blue cats, especially that one. That one was 43 inches. I mean, that was a, that was a whopper, and I'm really thankful to get him. But I've had a good morning out here overall, but i got to take it to the house and edit some videos because I am about three videos behind on editing. So I gotta knock that out today. I'll see y'all again soon. Thanks for watching.